on today's content we are going to be discussing the reasons why you need to think before making that move to Qatar. i know on my channel i've shared like how to get a job lifestyle in Qatar, the good things in Qatar. but um i ev everything we need to like make a balance i cannot just tell you that everything is good 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 definitely there, there are going to be struggles that either i am going through or people here in Qatar they are going through so i'm going to be sharing some of the highlights with you all so and some of these things i've actually gone through them so it's going to like um prepare you for what you're about to face in Qatar. so you're going to know if you are to come to Qatar or maybe you're going to like think about another better place that you need to be so if um this is something that you would like this video is for you please kindly watch to the end so that you're going to know the harsh realities of living here in Qatar. and also don't forget to click on the like button now let's hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's your girl choma ever smiling ever happy and always dishing out content if you're just seeing this beautiful face for the first time on this channel i share qatar related content lifestyle how to settle down in qatar and all the juicy things lifestyle content i share it on this channel and if this sounds interesting to you please you might want to like consider joining this wonderful family it's all love here and to all my returning subscribers you all are welcome so now let's get right into the video for today on today's content i'm going to be discussing about the things you need to think about before coming over to qatar or i'll call it the harsh realities so the first thing i'll be talking about is accommodation yeah and accommodation in reference if you're coming with uh a freelance visa maybe for example you're coming with a with uh, maybe a company is bringing you over to Qatar. Be rest assured they are going to give you accommodation most of them they'll tell you that yes they're going to give you accommodation and if you are coming under um family visits um visa that means you have a family here for them to have invited you you have a family here that you are going to like stay with then accommodation is not your problem but when you are you are coming with a freelance visa you are coming on your own no company is bringing you over to Qatar, and maybe you don't even have a friend currently living in Qatar. then you have to look for accommodation and looking for accommodation might be a little bit trickish and you need to like live with maybe a different nationality or different people entirely that maybe they might be your nationality but different people and at times it can be a struggle and your roommates might be frustrating they might frustrate maybe some people might like to sleep with the lights why you you like to sleep with the lights off so this can be frustrating and definitely you're going to learn lessons from living with people take those lessons it will help you in Qatar during your stay in Qatar the second one i would like to talk about is the weather i know you have heard so much about the weather currently we are in summer in Qatar, we look forward to the winter we don't look forward to the summer unlike other countries that look forward to the um, summer oh my god it's going to be summer especially in europe but in Qatar, we look forward to the winter not the summer because the summer is usually very very hot oh my god currently we are in summer the ac is on but i can still feel the heat it's usually very very hot so especially if you are coming during the summer just get your mind prepared this period if you are coming during this period get your mind prepared and this summer it usually lasts from april to um september october is usually very hot so just position your mind that oh my god it's going to be freaking hot compared to your country only when it's going to be like you're going to be used to it is if you're coming from a middle east country yes it's it's relative but when you're coming from africa you're coming from canada us uk just know that the, the weather is usually very different one of the struggles why you might need to think before coming to qatar or the harsh realities is in qatar we our life is just like a circle i'll explain um we live our life we go we wake up we go to work we come back we sleep so that's how our life is moving um most of the time you forget i think generally i think in abroad generally most of the times you forget that um that you you just have to live your life most of the time you forget most of the time you even forget to even call your family 
because our life is just position you leave you go out you you wake up in the morning you go to work you come back you sleep and yeah you might not even have friends around for you to like talk to and maybe when you're even free to talk to your friend maybe your friend is actually at work your friend is not off at that time it can really be frustrating going around the same routine every day so this is one of the struggles that you might be facing when you relocate to Qatar. the next one is no financial backup mm -mm. i think i've said this previously on my channel the struggles we go through staying in abroad but in let i'm just i'm speaking from Qatar perspective there is no financial backup especially maybe when you're out of job or maybe you need some money to just quickly borrow no one will be willing to like lend you that money unlike your country where you have like you have family you have friends that you can easily call please can you just lend me some money i'll be giving you back this money and in abroad you you're going to see in maybe your family back home to like when you're in your country but in abroad maybe the person you're even talking to is actually facing some certain things that that person actually need money for and people are usually very careful to like lend you some money so just have it in mind especially when you are when you're alone you don't have a family um you don't have a family member here just know that you're alone and you might not be having financial backup if you should have a friend that is always willing to like lend you some money appreciate that person i don't take that person for granted that person is not a fool for lending you um for for helping you that person is not a fool so generally in abroad financial backup you just have to like save your money for the rainy day you don't have to use your 10 fingers to eat you have to save for the rainy day yeah the next one on my list actually affected me also is getting a job in qatar there are lots of competition currently in qatar qatar is recruiting from different countries they are recruiting from usa canada they are recruiting professionals okay and when you are coming with a freelance visa or you're coming on a visit visa it might be a little bit tough let me tell you my own story i came into qatar in 2019 in may of 2019 i'm actually five years in qatar now in this month before i could get my resident permit it took me like four months i got my resident permit in um september september 2019 so after my resident permit, I started searching for job. I searched for job for like four months. I got a job around January. That's when I got a job. And the job I got, it, it was not as if it was convenient for me. It was not convenient for me. It was another city entirely. And my house is very far. But I just had to like take the job just for me to like get experience in Qatar. And the money was very little. But I just had to like take the job for me to like get experience in Qatar. Okay, now let's take it for example, you, you are coming to Qatar on a freelance visa and you, you need to stay for, for a certain amount of time. Like for example, I stayed for eight months and that eight months, it was my dad that was like sustaining me, giving me money for this and that. Okay, now let's take it that you don't have anybody here in Qatar and you need to like stay eight months without a job. How are you going to cope? How are you going to cope? So that's why you just have to like get your mind prepared is not usually bed of roses just know that there are going to be struggles there are going to be challenges on the way get your mind prepared for these things okay that's why i tell you to think before you want to like relocate to qatar qatar need people that are skilled and before you can be skilled to like qatar level especially when you're coming from african or you're coming from other asian countries there are some courses that you need to as well do before you um before you um, get that your actual job, the job that you actually need, the job that you desire. So that's why during that time that you are waiting, you might need to like take up survival jobs. What I talk about survival jobs, jobs that you know that, okay, um, the money might not be really be that much, but at least the money can be able to pay your bills, like your, 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 your rent, your feeding, the money will be able to take care of you. And if you have not seen my video on the survival jobs, you can actually do in Qatar. I think I did a video on that. I'm going to link it somewhere up here or I'll get to put it in the description box. You can as well check that out. The next one is we work and we forget about ourselves. 
we work 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 we forget about our health and most of the time we just want to like put food in our mouth especially we africans we just want to like put food in our mouth we're not even thinking about the nutritional benefits we're all thinking oh my god i just need to work some people they are going to work they are getting this money but all the money they are packing it and they are sending it over to their country maybe they'll just leave like very little money that is not even going to be enough to sustain them money that is not even going to be enough to even feed them that's the money they are going to be living year in in Qatar. they forget about their health they forget about going to the gym they forget about exercising oh my god it can be really disheartening this your family back home most of them They'll just enjoy the money for you and at the end of the day you are the one suffering for this money and you don't even have time to even spend this money on yourself there was a time i was like that i was always thinking about family back home um what i can do here courses i can do here in Qatar. i forget about my health then i started added weight i started getting i said being on the big side but when I started focusing more on myself, I started exercising. There are lots of park in Qatar here that you can even go for morning walk. There are lots of park here that you see like exercise, um, um, exercise um, equipment that you can use to exercise. Please, if when you are coming to abroad or you are currently in abroad, you are currently in Qatar or any country at all, regardless of the country, please don't just work and forget about yourself. You are working for yourself. Work. Take care of yourself. Work. Enjoy that your money. Yes, enjoy that your money. It's when you have health, a good health, that's when you can think of making wealth. If you don't have a good health, how will you make um, wealth? You only be in the hospitals and um, no company is willing to take in someone that does not have a stable health that every two weeks you are being admitted in the hospital. So please work, eat good food and take care of yourself. And the next one that is very, very important, why you want to think before coming to Qatar is Qatar does not give citizenship. Yes. And most of us, why most people are relocating or migrating to a country is because of we want to like have their passports. We want to like see the benefits of why we are staying in that country. But in Qatar, they don't give. It's usually in rare occasions they give out their citizenship. They give out their passport to um to another nationality who have lived here. Is in very rare look, um, occasion. I met a man who stayed forty six years in Qatar, and he said he does not have their passport. So if you are coming to Qatar with the mindset that you are going to have like citizenship. Um, you might want to start withdrawing that a little bit. I, I will not tell you to like withdraw it completely, but I'll tell you to start withdrawing that a little bit out of your mind. But you can as well, you can get a permanent residency. That means um, you need to like buy a property of what 3.6 over 3.6 million Qatar reals, and that is a huge amount of money. So that is the only way I guess you can have their um permanent residency if i should get other ways that you can have their permanent residency i would come on this channel to like inform you but for now there is no Qatar don't give citizenship but i stand to be corrected maybe you have been given citizenship in Qatar before please you can as well educate us on how you got it so that we can as well start the process okay the last one on the list is don't compete don't compare don't compete with anybody don't compare yourself with anybody you're just coming into qatar today and you are comparing or you are competing with someone who have been in the country for like five to ten years the person that have been in this country for five to ten years the person have gathered lots of experiences this person has gone through his his or her own fair share of qatar Okay, the person has faced Qatar. You're, you're not just coming today and it's one that have been in the field. You are beginning to like compete with that person. Oh, and um, why is this person like this? Why is this person like that? No, you don't have to compete. Even though maybe you that you have actually been in this country for maybe for some years now, and someone that just come into came into Qatar, the person is doing quite well more than you. Don't even compete with that person. Grace differs. The, the grace I'm carrying differs from the grace um, the other person is carrying. So don't compete with anybody. Don't think like, 
oh this person is doing far better than me just be on your lane and do what is right because it's most it's mostly by competition that's why a lot of people have done things that we're not supposed to do and they've been deported like very fast they've been deported so don't try to compete just be on your lane and pray to god and tell god to guide you and yes you'll be better so these are some of the harsh realities of living in Qatar. these are not all yeah these are not all but i just try to like pinpoint the the important ones what i think it's important i just try to pinpoint at it so you might so that you are going to have like an idea of what you're going to face while coming to Qatar. and i hope this video was helpful to you if it was helpful to you please give this video a thumbs up and share with family and friends and if you are new to this channel please do well to subscribe to this channel come join this wonderful family it's all love here and to all my returning subscribers thank you all for stopping by thank you all for clicking on this video if you have any questions at all or you have any video ideas that you want me to do please put it in the comment section or you can as well send me a message on my instagram yes my instagram is in the description box check that out and you can as well reach out to me anytime any day and i'll be willing to answer you thanks for watching and see you all in the next one but always remember to love yourself bye